Welcome back to the channel guys and uh, today we're going to do some modifications to the little Kubota BX23S. Got my BX Expanded Piranha Tooth Bar and the Barracuda Backhoe Thumb. So that's all ready there. Got some of the assorted tools. I'll need to install those guys. And uh, first up, we're gonna stick the tooth bar on the bucket. And uh, this guy has a nice serrated, angled cutting edge and should uh, narrow the pressure points down or whatever. Should do some better digging than the straight edge there. And I'm kind of hoping that it'll be a little bit better at digging out some uh, of those saplings and whatnot that I need to get rid of. And I think it should do the trick. This guy looks pretty easy to install. This isn't going to be too in-depth. I think there's probably some other videos out there, but we'll do a quick one. And uh, pop some holes in there and get it done. So these guys are built to order. I'll stick their website down below. Um, as of the time of me ordering, it was about a 21 day wait time. I think it actually showed up to my door exactly a month after ordering them. So that's about the only downfall I see so far. They look pretty decent. All uh, look to be CNC plasma cut holes and whatnot. Got the adjustable arm for the mechanical backhoe. Nice little uh, sticker on there. Got to do some branding, you know. So, uh, yeah, we'll start popping this guy on. And hopefully these two make a big difference. All right, first off here, I'm going to lay the instructions out on the bucket so I don't mess up this uh, pretty simple task. Uh, here's what they say you need. Two C-clamps. I have one. So we're off to a good start. A felt tip pen. Got myself a Sharpie, we're good there. A center punch, don't have that with me. I guess I can go get one, but we'll try it without it. A hammer, I should probably grab that. Electric drill, got that. Small drill bit, got one of those. Three quarter inch step drill bit, got that as well. And a couple wrenches, so we're good there. I think you pretty much take these, uh, Bolts out here, toss her in, hammer it in there, mark the holes, drill the holes, bolt the thing in. Seems pretty straightforward to me. So let's get going. Great, Sasha. You gonna do this? You gonna help? Uh, hopefully it fits. Ooh, she's Nice and tight. Good and tight. All right, go grab my hammer and block since I forgot those. So now that I got more of what I needed, grab a little rubber mallet. We'll uh, tap, 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 roo this guy in. We'll clamp her down. mark some holes but yeah I will say that the uh, hammering thing in is a crucial step because it did seat it in there quite a bit more and this one is for the BX buck buckets and I should have showed you that but too late now because it's covered up I'll show it when I take it off but it is actually etched with a BX marking, and this one fits pretty tight. Once we sink them bolts in, it'll kind of set that guy a little better. Otherwise, they will build them by just measurement, too, if you don't have a BX series tractor. They give you instructions on the website on how to measure for it. Yeah, we will uh, mark the holes here with our 
felt tip pen, as I would say. Something in there, Sasha? So I think we'll go somewhere right in the center in case we ever need to adjust that guy. And we'll do the same on the other side here. Now we're on to drilling. They got these little guys included in the instruction, little like crosshairs to mark your holes. But I'm just gonna go off the Sharpie mark. Seems a little redundant to me, but do as you please. Gonna start with small drill bit, then probably step into that step bit. The bucket is actually Pretty easy to drill through, so don't worry there. On to the step bit. And we'll kind of blow this hole out. Probably a hair bigger than we need to be, so we don't have to worry about clearance. And then we'll throw the guy on. All right. So we got it drilled, we're going to throw it back on. I want to 11 sixteenths on each side on the step bit. I think that should be sufficient. I must have done something correctly because everything seems to fit. So that's good. So we're gonna tap this guy back on, clamp it down and uh, tighten those guys up. And now we'll be able to do some ripping and tearing. All right, we'll tighten her up and she's all good to go. All right, so that guy is all good to go and on there. Pretty slick. That took all of like 12 minutes, I think. Maybe a hair more. And as you can see, this outer bar bent out a little bit. It was like a quarter inch, eighth inch off, depending on which side. Bent out flush with the bucket side. Same thing on both sides. You can see it's got a little bow. But yeah, that looks a little meaner than the straight edge. So yeah, we'll move on to the Barracuda. I don't know what's with them and their mean fish name, but whatever. Works for me. So now we are ready to throw that guy on there. So they want you to lower the backhoe down and have the teeth just touching, no pressure down, because we are gonna pop that pin right there out. And that's what the thumb is gonna pivot off of. But first we're gonna put the bar together and slide it into that guy. So this smaller tube, they want it collapsed all the way in the bigger tube, and the bigger tube goes into the factory mount there, which is kind of nice. No clamp or anything like some of the mechanical thumbs have. I uh, pre-greased the pins and the bolt, and we'll throw a little grease on that guy just for corrosion sake, I guess. So uh, we'll start with that, and then we'll hammer that pin out. All right, so we're going to slide this tube all the way in, which just about bottoms it out. So this guy just slides in. It pinches your hand too if you aren't careful. So it's got a hole for the bolt to go in.
I believe this is just a 13 millimeter. Nope, that one's a 10. Oh, nope. Not a 10 either. Why not? This guy is an 11. Tighten that guy down. So that pin is now secure. So we'll walk over here. We're gonna move on to this guy. So what we need to do is remove that bolt there so we can pound this pin out for the bucket. So these guys are 12 millimeter on this one. Save that guy. And now we'll take a little blunt punch and the hammer and we'll tap it out from the other side. And we will put that together, put that on the shelf. In case we ever go back, because it comes with a new pin that is longer. And uh, that one came out real easy. And uh, this thing only has 13 hours on it, so it may be a little different on yours if it's not as new, I guess. So your mileage may vary there. So now we're going to throw a little grease on that pin. It is greasable, but we're gonna put some on ahead of time just so we get all the edges. So yeah, we're gonna throw a little grease on that pin and then uh, get that guy on. This one just goes like so. I'm not quite sure this may be somewhat challenging with one person to get it all lined back up because there is quite a few little points because you got the bucket, the arm, and now you added the thumb. So you may see me struggle, but that's not anything you're not used to. Kind of line this guy up and do some monkeying around here. All right, I'm gonna start the tractor up, lift it up a bit. See if that makes it a little closer. And there we go. Got it in, just took a little, a little messing around with that one, but it is what it is. All right, so now we're gonna take the bolt. And line this guy up. And that fits like shit. Alright, move it down to the next one so we can line it up there. Wouldn't quite go in on the top one. Alright, so that guy is essentially done. But don't forget to secure that guy again, so we'll do that real quick. And we're going to pop some grease in that guy that new pin good time to do that so that guy is all greased up and wouldn't be a bad time to grease the rest of your tractor uh, my brother's been making fun of me saying I bought a micro tractor and I'm gonna be micro farming so I went ahead and bought a micro grease gun for it 
got to have fun in life. We'll kind of show you how the telescoping part works here. So this pin just kind of lift up on the arm. Then it's got a bunch of different holes, like there is the top hole. That, we'll set her in the middle once, put it in. And we're gonna finish this video up real quick because uh, as you can hear, the thunder's rolling in and it is now starting to rain. But I'll fire her up and kind of show you how that's gonna work. So I'll lift the bucket up here. And as you can see, so all you do is rock the bucket, rock her closed, and you'll be able to pinch stuff. So as you can see, a little dark in here, can't even see my face. Uh, the thunderstorm rolled in. We got the uh, warning sirens going off. The old Kubota's getting all wet. You'll have that some days. But I'd say that would be uh, some good timing on the video. Got her done, lens is fogging up. So there's your Piranha tooth bar and Barracuda mechanical thumb install. I'm happy to have those, real excited to get to use those. Not a great day to use those anymore. So that'll be the next video, we'll test them out. But uh, I'll throw the link down below to BX Expanded's website. They got a bunch of neat stuff for these subcompact tractors, for the John Deere, Kubota, pretty much all of them. But yeah, until next time, thanks for killing a little time with me tonight, guys.